Now, a new European Space Agency satellite named Biomass could answer how much carbon forests store and how that is changing as the planet warms. Now, currently in its final testing phase in France, Biomass promises to revolutionize how we monitor forests. Forests represent about one third of our planet today, and 75% of those forests are tropical forests. So it's really important not just to know the health of those forests, the actual uh, degradation eventually of those forests, but to have a clear understanding and information related to the canopy, so to the upper part of the forest, but also uh, all through uh, down to the roots, which means this is really the feature of this mission, this biomass mission that has on board uh, a new instrument. It's a P-band uh, instrument. It's a rather a P-band, which was never flown before, which will give us, in fact, information about the leaves, uh, the trunks, but also the roots of the trees. Biomass will carry a P-band synthetic aperture radar, the first of its kind in space. Now, this powerful instrument can see through even the thickest forest canopies, measuring the height and density of trees with extraordinary accuracy. The radar works by sending pulses towards Earth and analyzing the echoes that bounce back. It can estimate not only the mass of trees, but also their internal structure from canopy to trunk to root system. Now, during special observation phases, biomass will revisit forest sites up to seven times, creating layered 3D maps for creating layered 3D maps for of the forest interior. Now, this technique is called tomographic radar and offers never-before-seen insights. The satellite is scheduled to launch today from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. Biomass satellite is the seventh uh, Earth Explorer, which is part of the uh, missions that the European Space Agency is developing in the context of Earth sciences. Those are scientific missions with clear uh, science objective. In the specific case of biomass, the objective is to monitor carbon fluxes and the role that forests have in terms of absorbing carbon. This is very relevant these days of climate change context where Forest and tropical forests in particular play a clear, important role in absorbing carbon. Once in orbit, biomass will join forces with other Earth monitoring missions like NASA's JETI and the upcoming NISAR satellite, offering a picture of how the world's forests are responding to climate change.